I am wrapping my ankle in this video. And I was in Jiu Jitsu class week 15 and I was actually finally able to execute a sweep that I've been trying to, you know, figure out in terms of, you know, gripping the sleeve, pulling it over and using my leg to kick out the knee, throwing my opponent off balance and then rolling them over and sweeping them and getting them out. And I was able to successfully do that a couple of times until finally the gentleman that was on the bottom, at no fault of his own, uh, managed to sweep me too. But in my struggle to maintain the mount position, I rolled over my ankle and rolled my, over my ankle in a way that I heard a sound. Immediately, the both of us stopped. We're like, okay, what happened? Did I break something? Did I pop something? Did I sprain something? And in the moment, it didn't hurt. I just felt like electric shock go from the base of my left ankle all the way up the uh, left side of my Achilles up to my calf. If I have an injury at the risk of further aggravating it, let me take a step back. I walked, making sure I have the range of motion. Uh, but by the time I got home, I have three flights of stairs to climb up. And in those three flights of stairs, I started noticing some discomfort. And so, uh, and this is when I started thinking back at, okay, what do I do when I have a potential sprain of the ankle, right? And for the signs and symptoms of a sprain. Among them, a uh, sense of if you try to go into your normal range of motion, then it hurts. Um, another sign is swelling, uh, redness, bruising, um, any one of those things. So I've had plenty of sprains, whether it be for basketball, karate, sparring, any of those, it happens. You know, uh, any sport that you play, regardless of whether it's uh, martial arts or karate or, um, or basketball or football or what have you, uh, you are running risk of hurting yourself. So uh, for that reason, you know, these are things and precautions that you have to anticipate, right? Obviously, you try to be careful and not hurt yourself, but in this case, it happened. Sleeping through the night, I was just like, oh, this hurts. Uh, and I woke up a few times uh, because of the pain in my ankle. I woke up in the morning and there was a slight amount of swelling around the, uh, uh, around the ball joint on the outside of the left side of my left foot. So that's when I was like, okay, I have a sprain. Now, what do I do? Do I stop training? Do I stop doing anything? When in reality, yes and no. In the sense of you don't want to completely stop training because part of the healing process of any kind of uh, minor injury, in this case, it's a minor injury. It's not a, uh, it's not a crazy tear. My leg is not swol swollen up beyond movement. I can still walk on it. I can still put weight on it, um, albeit slowly. But key things to keep in mind is you don't want to change your pattern of natural movement if you can help it, that's number one. Number two is that you want to accelerate the healing process. And the way to do that is to drive blood flow to that area. And part of the ways to do that is to uh, see, you know, try to exercise the area as slightly and as best as possible with minimum amount of discomfort. Once you have uh, tried to maintain movement, and, you know, throughout the day today, you know, I did my normal errands. Uh, as you can see here, I am wrapping my ankle to go to karate class. And But mind you, I'm not going to do the cold class. I'm not going to run in class. I'm not going to do takedowns in class. I'm not going to grapple in class. I'm not going to do crazy kicks in class. My whole objective in going to this class, at least for the next two weeks, even in jiu-jitsu class, my whole objective is to make sure that I'm moving and blood is flowing. I'm driving blood into the area to accelerate the healing process. And obviously icing it and heating it and icing it and heating it. And at least in the first case, ensuring that the swelling goes down, inflammation goes down. Advil is good for that. Tylenol might be good for that. Um, uh, also to numb the pain a little bit. And then from there, moving forward.